In this video, I'm going to explain how to create an account in Tinkercad and you can simulate Arduino IDE programs that is uh, Ability Enhancement Course IoT Lab all experiments. You can simulate virtually and you can check the output. So go open google.com. So type Tinkercad, you will get this window. In this window, you click tinker.com. Here you need to sign up. Okay. First you have to sign up. Okay. I already created ID. So you, you can give here educators if you are a teacher. Click here. Otherwise, students you can join a class or you can create a personal account also. You can better you create personal account and sign in when you're creating it will ask for sign up with email if you already have gmail account you can download using existing gmail so i already have gmail account i am uh, logging using existing gmail id only so it will open like this so now this is my uh, Tinkercad login page after logging using Gmail ID. So you'll get like this. So after that, you can have uh, classes. So I actually logged in as a educator. That's why it's coming like I can have classes and I can assign uh, assignments and all. If you are using personal, then uh, you'll not get actually all these things. So now you can you'll have create will be there. So click on create okay after clicking create then you have to select circuits because we are doing uh, simulation of arduino so it is there in the circuits you have to click on circuits okay let me go to the first experiment First experiment is to interface LED buzzer, LED or buzzer, anyone with Arduino or Raspberry Pi and write a program to turn on LED for one second after every two seconds. This is the first program. I'm going to explain step by step. So, we already opened this. So, I'm using Arduino, Arduino. So, what I did plus Okay, then I selected circuits. So there you will get right side. Okay. For this, no need to install any software. Just it will run from a net only. So tinker.com only. So here you have to select Arduino, you know, R3 is there. So these are the components available. Resistor is there, LED is there, push button, potentiometer, capacitor, slide switch, battery. Okay. Then 1.5 volts battery. Fine type for three, uh, see, three volts battery is available, breadboard is available. So, I mean, I want to use Arduino ID. So, select Arduino. You just click and here it will come like this. Okay, this is your Arduino ID. This is Arduino. What's a virtual Arduino? So, now I want to write a code. So, you can click our code here. Okay, this is a code by default, uh, it will show like this block diagram actually here you can uh, program when to uh, switch on the led and off by default some program will be there you can see those are familiar with uh, blocks programming you can use this otherwise you can better you can go for text select text there it will give the text programming if you select blocks it will give blocks diagram or you can select blocks and test will show block as well as uh, this uh, text program so for the very first program let us start with only code that is text only i'll select only text so what uh, this is the when you create uh, one block that is if you pick one arduino ide by default one program automatically it will come so this program is nothing but uh, uh, uh digital write led built-in so in this led in this arduino 
so one led is there so this led i think one led is there let us see which one is this one or this i will show i will show you there after the execution we will find out whether this is a built in led or this is built in led so that built in led is actually a pin number 13 okay pin number 13 here we can show one more i can connect one more led here and i can check the additional uh, one more led output as well as built in led present in this board also so uh, by default for all the programs wired setup will be there and wired loop function will be there so here in the setup you have to do which pin uh, as output which pin is configured as input okay any baud rate is there that all those things you have to do it in setup it will execute only one time this wired loop it will execute like uh, for infinite time okay like it's while one execute all this continuously so wired loop so here digital write so this is a syntax digital write built in led here we configured built in led as output so here that pin we have to digitally write i that logic i you have to give to that pin so if anything is connected like uh, led is connected that will be going to get forward bias and it is going to turn on so if i send i here led is going to turn on if i send low here led will be off so digital write that led pin value 13 we are sending i we are writing to high so after that we are calling a delay this is 1000 millisecond 1000 millisecond means one second okay after that you have to digitally write led low after one second we are writing low so what happens that led one second will be on and one second will be off this is the uh, default code automatically created that is a c plus plus code when you create one block here okay on your uh, drag and place one uh, arduino id automatically this code will be there you have to see this using text here code click on code by default blocks will be there you have to click you have to select uh, text here then only you can see this so this is this program is for okay built in led is already there i will just run it i am going to check the start simulation just click on start simulation so once you start simulation it is started i think this is the bit led you can see here this one this is a built in led it is uh, turning on and off you can see here observe here led is actually one second on one second off one second on one second off what is the program the program is to interface led and write a program to turn on led for one second and after every two seconds so by default program half is also one second so what you can change you can stop simulation instead of one second now you change it to two seconds so that means wait for two seconds which is nothing but a delay 200 millisecond is equal to two seconds so every two seconds it is off then one second on so just start click on start simulation you can see here one second on two seconds off now similarly stop simulation i can verify using additional led also so for that you have to add another block so uh, this you click on this click on you can select led this is an led this led you can place here so by default and uh, i told you in the program i'll show you that this is a cathode negative this is anode that is positive so little bit bent is there no that is positive this right is negative so always cathode is connected to negative place here similarly this by default 13 is selected built in led is 13 so you can you can connect like this also and you can if you want you can change the color also by selecting red color black ground always use black color select this line and select black color okay positive is red connected to 13 already this built in led is connected to the 13 this one only so one more additional led i am showing okay now okay i am going to start simulation you can see output here also here also see led is on for one second off for two seconds on for one second 
and a photo second this is how to simulate similarly if you want to change the instead of 13 if i want to use another 12 or 10 or 9 or 8 so these are the pins available okay these are the pins available 1 2 13 ground is there and here analog inputs a not a5 is there okay here are the powers are there so here if you want to connect for some different pins then you have to change the code okay here you can write here instead of the writing led underscore built in you can write here i will show you one more I will show, I will connect the LED to pin number 10 and I will show, wait, you can see here, this is a program, how to verify the output, this is a first program, okay, if you don't want to use built-in LED and if you want to connect to some other LED, some other pin, for example, I am going to connect to 10, so and then what are the changes you have to make, okay. Okay, now, you have to configure now i will i want to instead of built-in led i can check for any p any led here any pin you can connect here led pin for that i can use a instead of a built-in led okay built-in led i can declare one more int led pin as 10 okay you can use 10 8 any pins you can use for example i can use 8 only for 8 or 10 or anything so I let me use 8 right and semicolon here then led pin i declared as an int variable and it is assigned with 8 so here change this one to instead of built-in led i can change whatever label i had given here variable name int pin same int pin you have to configure as output that means pin number 8 is configured as output now pin number 8 is a uh, uh, digital write pin number led pin which is the uh, pin number 8 as logic high and call delay of one second digital write same led pin which is 8 low okay and the call delay for 200 millisecond so it is two second now actually instead of built-in led we have to connect uh, this to any pin you want you can use one resistor also as a current limiting resistor if you want that is optional i'm telling if you want to you can use otherwise you can directly connect so you can change this color to red color and led color also if you want you can change to any color you want you can click you can select different colors are there yellow orange blue any color you want you can take so now led is connected to pin number 8 it's a different built in means 13 or this one if you want to use different you have to use one more sentence that is there in the code so int led pin is a variable here you have to write which pin you are writing using so now let me check if for example if semicolon is missing i'll show what is the error you are going to get see so you are going to get some error expected before semicolon is expected so you have to correct it now start simulation now see here this led is glowing for one second it is glowing two second off so that is the first program okay interface led write a program to turn on led for one second after every two seconds so we are getting output Similarly, I can connect buzzer also. Okay, I'll show that in the next program. 